。大家好，我是戴女女，我回来了。<笑> OK， 啊、uh, ，大家好，我是谭媛媛，我是一名芭蕾舞者。啊、uh, ，我是在上海出生长大的一个女孩儿啊， uh, 现在是在旧金山芭蕾舞团担任首席啊、uh, 主要演员。呃，三十八个小时之前呢，我刚刚完成了呃、uh, 旧金山芭蕾舞团，我跟旧金山芭蕾舞团合作二十一年的芭蕾舞技，所以啊， uh, 今天能够站在这个舞台上，其实我心里非常的呃、uh, 激动。呃，因为其实大家也知道，舞蹈演员的肢体语言就是肢体演员，让我站在这边，呃，要用开口说话，对我来说是一个很大的挑战。所以呢，我希望大家多多包涵。So， 我想就是开始从我的童年说起吧。说 ，so 啊、uh, ，我是十岁的时候，呃，被上海市舞蹈学校选进作为呃选进校作为芭蕾舞学生的。那个时候我记得大概是有十一千多个小孩去做啊、uh, audition， 就是去做考试。那我记得是初试、复试、总复试，一共有三次，呃，最后剩下的只有我们二十四个，呃，十二个男孩和十二个女孩，从一千多个人挑精挑细选出来的。那嗯、呃，那个时候我印象最深的是，什么东西东西都要用尺量。呃，大家也知道，芭蕾呃舞演员对身体的条件和比例是非常非常的苛刻的。那那个时候，我是呃记得他们说，如果用尺量，下身一定要比上身长起码九厘米。然后我的我的好像是十三还不是十四，所以这一坎就过了。然后你的指距、你的肩、呃、你的脖子有多长，都是要用那个尺量出来的。这是我就是一开始对这个学校的一个记忆是什么都用尺。然后前面一排都是大概是有十几个，嗯，十几个老师就在那儿计分嗯、呃，所以最后还是被选进去了。然后我是十一岁的时候才进学校的，为什么呢？呃，那个时候我的父母有不同的，就是呃不同的意见，因为我的父亲不。不同意我进上海舞蹈学校，他是一个工程师，所以他希望我能够做成为一个医生或者是律师。啊、呃，就像所有的一些呃父母一样的，那那那个时候我母亲的梦想就是成为一名舞蹈演员，所以我母亲是非常的积极的，也想把我就是推进学校。那个时候也正好是我已经被选进学校，嗯、呃，然后我母亲说，哦，这太可惜了，如果你是不进校的话，那你的这些 talent。全都浪费掉了。然后我父亲说不，一定不能跳，因为第一你是中国人，芭蕾是一个西方的艺术，呃，中国人怎么可能就是跳得好，或者是在世界的舞台上怎么可能崭露头角？呃，因为他也不希望我一直在群舞里边能够一直跳下去，嗯，而且。芭蕾舞演员的寿命，艺术寿命非常的短，大概是三十岁左右就可以想到那个退役的事情了。所以说，啊，我父亲是极力反对，然后我母亲是极力要把我推进学校。所以怎么样呢？呃，最后还是用一枚五分的硬币决定的。然后他们就是抛了一下硬币，然后正面是我母亲，反面是我父亲，所以我母亲赢了。然后我父亲也没有什么话说，呃。所以他们说，谢谢。所以他们说，如果是一个反面的话，我说可能多了一个医生，就少了一个舞蹈演员吧。So， 嗯、呃，这是我小时候的一个故事。然后，嗯，到了学校，其实我不是一个很好的学生，因为我比别人整整晚进去了一年，所以很多一些呃一些嗯。呃舞舞步和动作我都没没有办法，根本没有办法，呃
跟上别人，所以我是呃很自卑，然后呃就是每一天都在那哭鼻子，然后我是永远是在一个角落里边是一个丑小鸭，嗯，后来是十三岁的时候有一个转机，因为我有这个新乐老师。所以那个时候就是呃，我很勤奋的，啊，总算是好像嗯，对自己有一个信心，能够赶上同班的同学。然后啊，十三岁开始发愤图强，十十五和十六岁是我的一个转折点。呃，在国际芭蕾舞比赛上得了三三个奖，大奖。嗯，是那个时候，嗯，其实最让我觉得，呃。很感动的是，我得了法国巴黎大呃巴黎呃的一个金奖，是那个时候是因为只有少年组的金奖，他们才颁发，因为其他成年组的女子金奖和银奖，他呃金奖都没有发，因为觉得我的演出是特别特别的出彩，所以他们就给我颁发了一个金奖，然后呃就是有很多奖项我就。今天也不一一说了，呃，我想大家可能，呃，也知道，呃，我是一个舞蹈演员，所以我今天也带来了一些视频，希望大家能够，呃，能够看一下我的一些视频。I think uh, I brought this videotape from San Francisco, and、uh, thank you very much from San Francisco Ballet, and they let me use this、uh, footage. For my dancing, and this is like a, a diving into a lalak. It's an international renowned choreography. Yuri Posokov、uh, did this piece for me, and, and it's memory of、uh, his school life in Russia, and because all the field of the lalak、uh, makes him feel、uh, return to his youth time. And、um, actually, this is like、um, that's the 15th season. I'm with San Francisco Ballet, and then you know,、uh, for all this practice, I practice、uh, almost eight hours a day, and、um, not to mention to prepare for before the show. I usually use like two. Uh, like two hours before the show, I got there two hours before the show, and then there's one、uh, couple more, and this is one of my favorite story ballet, Giselle, and、uh, it required a lot of footwork. As you can see, I was hopping on point, a lot of them, and、I、tell you the truth, it's really painful to hop on point. And those turns、uh, make me very dizzy with all this spotlight.、Um, but you have to be really balanced on your toe, right, for all this. Okay. And thank you. And then Giselle is very special because it requires some dramas in the in the dance. Because this is the, is the scene that Giselle goes mad because she、um, she finally know that Albert was cheating on her and she go mad and then she died of a heart fa failure. This is the ghost scene. There's a lot of spins, and I couldn't find where I am actually right now. <laughs> With all this step,、uh, we will say one minute on stage takes me ten years to practice. 台上一分钟，台下十年功。Yeah. Sorry, because I can't dance in on this stage. Well, it's a limitation, so that's why I brought a tape. Hope you like it. It's、uh, also partner is very important in the pas de deux because、um, uh, your life is in his hand. With all this like very difficult lift, it's about timing. It's not only about how much you weight. It's about timing and then coordinations and trust. 
Uh, this is a hummingbird, Feng Yang. I uh, really uh, like this ballet because it was made on me. And uh, this is a, my favorite music from Philip Glass. And sometimes the, the, this doesn't have a story in it, but it's just like very emotion like involved with a relationship between man and a woman. And she want to push him away, but he always want to go back to her. The guys have to have a lot of strength, so they do weight lifting as well. And sometimes uh, we will make a mistake on stage, but hopefully it's not drop you on stage. We do make a lot of mistakes actually, and especially for live performance. There's no NG, right? That's why we practice every day, eight hours in the studio to be perfect. Although you know you never can be perfect. And there's a lot of times, million things go through my mind when I'm dancing. But you find a balance in between that you choose the most important things to think and to speak without speaking on stage with your partner. So, this uh, is <laughs> Black Swan. I think a lot of people saw the movie Black Swan, but it's not my favorite. I don't know. <laughs> well, it, it showed something, but like very dramatized about a ballet dancer's life. Yes, we live on a very unique life. We are sort of isolated, um, but that's how we can deal with things because uh, it takes so much dedication to this fine art. And, um, I work very hard every day um, because I think I w always want to try my best and do my best and uh, uh, to fulfill the feelings beyond stage. And um, it was amazing feelings. I always got applause from the audience and uh, I feel good about it. All this hard work paid off because I, you know, I got the love from the audience. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is, I have to show it because that called The Little Mermaid, it's one of my dance career's milestone because at that time I'm already age of 35 and I thought that's, I already reached my peak, but actually The Little Mermaid made me into something more unique as an artist. And uh, The Mermaid, do, if, Everybody says mermaid and everybody was thinking Walt Disney, but it's not Walt Disney mermaid. It's not Oreo. Uh, it is uh, about unconditional love. It's it's very sad story, and um, but unconditional love still do exist, and I believe in it. And this is a Raku also made for me. Um, very special one from Yuri Postakov as well. Um, this, I have a good news for you, and it will make into a documentary. Um, right now it's in editing, and hopefully in, within a couple months it will show. And uh, it's very dramatic. It's a story with a princess and with a, the burning golden temple in Kyoto. And that's a dance partner, Damon Smith. He has just retired two years ago. We've been dancing for 19 years. And it's very dramatic, and I think very like into the dramatic roles uh, lately. And I was always feel so fantastic on stage to be in the character because I can, that moment I can let go of everything and I'm very happy to be in the character, to feel what the character feels. 
and not me, not Tan Yuan Yuan, it's the, in, within the character. That's the beauty of, uh, um, beauty of the ballet. So I guess I'm running out of time, but I uh, have just like, a, a, just want to say something really quickly that I was very grateful. Uh, I just returned a trip from St. Petersburg and I have uh, danced in this oldest theater in St. Petersburg called Alexander uh, Theater. Uh, it, it was, it was um, built in 1832 and um, I have the privilege to dance there and then in that gala I am the only Asian dancer or Chinese dancer on that stage. So I was very proud to make the statement of a oh, Chinese ballerina, I can make that far, and thanks to my parents, and they never, they always believe in me, and uh, they always support me, and then thank for like everybody um, to be friends in my life and all my audience. So uh, I forever grateful uh, for what I have each achieved, but achievement there's always sacrifice and I sacrifice my life or um, I, I don't really have uh, a normal life just like all my life is on stage but I enjoy the moment and people ask me when you're gonna retire I said well as long as I'm happy on stage and as long as the audience still love me I will dancing until the day I decide and uh, there's a lot of things lined up I'm interested to do and I'm, I have very open mind so I wanted just uh, fate to take me uh, whoever I can and then that ballet I wasn't planning on doing that but uh, it happened to me I just embrace it and then keep going thank you thank you